well, the moving process took about three weeks because we were limited to moving them. The trees could only be moved in the morning. The process started at 3 a.m. And because of noise ordinances, we were, you know, we were limited. They wanted us to get them across the roads where there's no traffic, but we, had to, we only had a two hour window every morning to do that. And then we could actually, once we got them to the barge, if we weren't, the barge wasn't out of here by 6.30, we had to wait till eight o'clock. And then the barge could leave at eight o'clock. Again, because of the noise ordinance with the, you know, the noise from, there's a crane, there's a crane on the barge that lifts spuds that hold the barge in place and that we couldn't have that crane start until after eight o'clock if we didn't get it done by 6.30. So some mornings with traffic or with different delays, weather delays, it you know, could easily, if we lose 15 minutes, we lose a day. The lightest ones that we had were the smaller stranglers weighed about 35,000 pounds. The heaviest strangler that we moved was 128,000 pounds. Uh, the oaks on average were around 115,000 pounds. Uh, the one heaviest oak was 122,000 pounds. But we had trees, we have you know, uh, uh, strangler figs and oaks that had diameters up to 110 inches. You know, these are very large, very old trees. It's not something that you can go buy at a nursery, you know, and um, they have a lot of history. If you go back and look at the photos, you know, that we have from the 20s, they're large trees then. They're all, you know, they're still shown on site. You can see them from the shots. And so we, you know, it was, it's, it's, just, it's a part of the Miami history and we really felt a need to save these trees. We didn't want to cut them down. Even the ones that we did end up cutting down because they were hazardous trees, uh, they were reused either by a local artist took some of the trees or we actually sent pieces of trees down to Jungle Island for them to use them for their cat exhibitions and for their birds. Um, so we tried to you know, get some kind of use of even other trees that we had to take down. Um, so it you know, involved basically 16 trees. The process started uh, beginning of the year with root pruning and we had to root prune half of the tree and then come back and then root prune the balance of it. Set up watering systems and misting systems in the trees just to prepare for their, you know, their trip up to up the river, and um, again, then we uh, had to go across, you know, four roads, four streets, DOT streets, county streets, to get them to the river, to put them on a barge, uh, then take them up to Bicentennial Park, and we basically had cranes at both ends. It's a long, drawn-out process, um, and now we had to set up irrigation on the other end, it's just to ensure their survival, and we're doing monthly inspections on the trees just to make sure that everything's going well with them.